Hi, today I want to show you a Bredico Peter pen. So I already prepared a sample Peter for you. So let me just put the lid on it and let it cook for a while. So follow me, I'll show you the device in detail. So this is what we call a Peter pen, but this is so much more than that. Uh, it is a very versatile piece of equipment uh, and I can recommend it to literally anyone, whether it is a commercial kitchen or a, a home kitchen as well, because you can do a lot of stuff with it. So starting uh, with the obvious, so of course you can do pizzas in it, but then again it is great as an electric pan uh, such as. So uh, you can do casseroles in it, you can do paella, risotto, you can do a lot of stuff. So basically what you have here is a um, very powerful device, it works with 1400 watts uh, and you just need to plug it in a normal wall socket. Uh, of course it comes with appropriate wall, uh, sockets for each market. Um, the controls are very easy as well, you can detach it for cleaning purposes. So what this is, this is the temperature dial, so each program um, responds to a different temperature, so for uh, one you have 100 to 150 degrees, so it's great for toasting, then you have 150 to 160, uh, which is great for melt and such, uh, for uh, boiling and stuff. Uh, then you have uh, 160 to 200, and of course you have uh, 250 around it uh, for a pizza. That's your temperature regulator, and of course also doubles as a plug, power plug. Uh, you have 40 centimeters in diameter and of course Teflon coating. Sorry, I have a question waiting. Uh, how deep that device is? Uh, well, from the edge to the bottom it's 9 centimeters. So you have quite a lot of room to do some stews for example or casseroles. Next question from Willie. Uh, what's the range of the temperatures? All right, so as, just, as I mentioned, uh, from 100 to 150 uh, on the first level, then you have 150 to 160, then you have 160 to 200, and on the fifth level you have 250 degrees. All right, Bill is asking uh, how to clean this device. And this is a very important question. Of course, after cooking it's time for cleaning, uh, and it's important that kitchen appliances uh, are easy to clean. Of course, it's electrical piece of equipment, so you cannot just um, you know, rinse it with water. But uh, because it is Teflon coating, uh, well, nothing should get stuck to it. Um, for cleaning purposes, just you know, fill it up with a little bit of water, uh, scrub it with a uh, you know, soft sponge or a cloth, and afterwards just tip out the water, uh, rinse it out, and dry it with a paper towel. One more question from Chandler. Um, can you do pancakes in it? Of course you can do pancakes in it. Um, when I was testing this device, I, I've done uh, you know, quite a fair share of pancakes myself. So, uh, you, of course, you can do pancakes. Uh, one advice there to remember when you're making pancakes, uh, just don't go uh, to the very edge of the device because then it's really hard to uh, take them out. But uh, apart from that, well, it's great for making pancakes, scrambled eggs. It's also great for outdoors, like, you know, provided you have a power outlet, uh, you can take it with you on a camping trip and you know your guests will go crazy when you make a casserole dish just in front of them in, in the open. Um, one more thing in regards to the lid which is also very important that's always a risk like when you're getting something with a glass lid. This is of course temple, gra temple glass with a solid steel uh, edge so that's really uh, reinforced. Of course you have a plastic heat proof grip on it so you can operate it uh, even when the device has been cooking for quite a while. Uh, on the lid you have a vent that releases all the excess pressure and moisture so which is great for pizzas. Alright so let's just check our pizza. I reckon it's gonna be a couple of more minutes. The result as you can see the cheese is already melted, it's nice bubbling and so, so uh, in about two, three minutes, I reckon your pi my pizza will be ready and I can feed my operators. All right, so let's close the lid. And guys, uh, thank you very much for your questions. I hope I answered them uh, fully. If you have any more questions, click on the one of the links below uh, for a one-on-one -on -one session where we can discuss this device or any other you wish. 
Uh, if you decided to buy this uh, device, you click on the other button. This will transfer you straight to your shop. So, thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.